higher rise on you. Yeah. I can get on cancel out then, but you'd be really flying when you get tomorrow, wouldn't you? I can get all the way to my driveway to those hills. Is that right? Yeah, because you'll just barely get up the top, then you'll go down again, barely get back up the top. I'll just turn in my driveway. If all the traffic was stopped and you had the hill just for bicycling, it wouldn't be so bad, but there's always a possibility you're going to get on a car. Well, if you need, you'd be in bad trouble. Sure would. I really. If you can't tell, it's going to be pretty big or small because there's no in between, it doesn't seem like. That's just their imagination uh, because I've heard them in there and seen the circles and they're all sizes. They just can't catch them. <laughs> I don't know. They must be hard to catch or something, but I can't ever catch anything. But I've caught like big catfish before there, but most of the bass are maybe a foot or a little less and all that. I don't know. Bass I usually catch about six inches long or seven. Well, that's, well, if you get to catch a bass pretty good around here. What I call them here, little yearling bass. You can catch them easy, you know, but after they have to get big, they're hard to catch them. Mm -hmm. Seems like after you put bass in a lake, that's all you got left is bass. They just, I believe they eat everything up, don't you? Probably do. Don't they even eat small snakes? Yeah. They do. So what do you think they'd eat a snake or they'd eat anything? They'll eat just about, they'll eat a fish about as big as they are. One year after it's real cold when I was leaving home, I went across the road over there to that man's, uh, I forgot what his name is, live across the road. What was what his name, Mr. Mr. Mitchell? Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And over that little pond, you know where it was at? Mm -hmm. And uh, I went and. Two snakes, and one was eating the other, mom belted it with a stick, and so I guess it left the little snakes alone after that, I don't know. Was it a black oh, snake or was it? Up in the country, and it was, it was eating the other one, so she hit the oh, big yeah. one with a stick. Yeah, let go of that other one. The other one had hold of the stick, trying to hold on, and <laughs> well, that'd be a bad place to be. Oh, it was. It had its little tail wrapped yeah. around, trying to hang on while it was being swallowed up. Mm. I felt sorry for it. Got rid of that other one, though, didn't you? I bet it won't be a bull anymore. Yeah, there's a over here at the lake. It was a hornet's nest last year. Do you remember? Did anybody get stung for that? I don't know. Right on the ground here, wasn't it? It was gone when we looked for it the last time. What? There was another one. Me and Roger went and burned it out. It was those little red looking hornets or wherever they are. It was right on the ground. There's another one in the ditch, too, and I don't know where it ever went. But me and Roger went and took up care of one of them night. Well, that explains that one. Yeah, <laughs> that was that one. I don't I, know about the other one. I did mean to tell you that last Sunday we went up to see Margaret and Jesse. We stopped and got Mom and Dad and took them over there. Oh. And then Ann Ralph came. Margaret was just too. Well, Margaret had more kind than she's had a long time. <laughs> she didn't know what to say. Probably worried. <laughs> she's, got, she's got new uh, furniture and stuff in there, new carpet. It's nice. It's done in blue. Yeah. I guess it's her. Blue and kind of an off white. Yeah. She's got her little, uh, one of those old timey phones. It's gold with mm -hmm. ivory looking, I think. Um, Mark Potter for Christmas. She's proud of that. And it's pretty nice. And then Joyce, is the painting that Joyce painted for her. Ann hadn't seen it, had she? Mom had it. Somebody had it. I think it was Granddad that showing it to. Him. Cause he said he didn't remember it or something, and that's trying to argue with him. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Sure is. They got a nice place in there. Mm -hmm. It's quiet. JC took Daddy out to show him some apple trees and stuff. Yeah. They were talking about bed and so. Yeah. And uh, we said in the house it was pretty like today. I really would like to have gone outside, but Mom wasn't able to get out. <clears throat> so we just messed around. Had a good day in heaven, isn't he? Yeah, I guess. He came home. We went over there and sleeping. Granny and Granddad were, Granny said she'd been meaning to go over there anyway, so we just took them. Yeah. We'd been planning to go. I know, they might have been going if we hadn't stopped by, but yeah, something no. happened to her microwave. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. Sure well, did. Turned black. We were going to leave and, and Margaret usually cooks a lot, used to, but uh, Dad insisted he have something to eat. I mean, he just wouldn't budge without having some lunch. <laughs> so Mom put some hot dogs in the oven. And black smoke kind of shot out the door. She said it did it even when there was nothing in there. Before or after that. Which I don't know. It came out of the top of it, though. And she tried to eat it up again. I told her to leave it alone because I was afraid of they're dangerous. Boys. I want to fade you out. How's that, baby? <laughs> it'll kill you. Man, it'll bust your eardrums. I don't know what it does. It picks up the frequency or something. It goes, Wah! Isn't that what that man called uh, that electricity was coming back through the stove when it was tore up and the breaker was tore up what? feedback feedback i don't know that's not the same thing as this feedback feedback no, 